Well, good morning all, and welcome back to the Off Grid Homestead, where we're going to continue with our series of doing tests on our batteries on the 48 volt system. So I'm going to do a different style of test in this video, and I want to bring you with me with this, so you can see just a different way of doing things. And yeah, I know you're getting a video every day out of me, so you're doing really, really well out of this. See how much I care about my subscribers to keep bringing you some wonderful content. So I want to know how much power we've got in the battery. So are we going to get our 400% out of our batteries, as we saw in our other video? Now, we know we're not going to after these batteries are three and a half years old. But instead of pulling these out and doing one individual test, there's another way we can do a test on them. Well, let me show you. So there are our two remaining batteries still in our 48 volt system. And it is around about 5.30 in the morning, and we are at 52%. So what I did last night is I turned off the solar panels. So this morning when the sun comes up, the solar does not start charging the batteries. And then what I want to do is I want to run the power in the cabin. So I'm going to start putting on some heaters until our system shuts off and I want to see what state of charge we've got in our batteries when this system shuts off. So at the moment we've taken about 50% out and then when our power shuts out I'm going to turn the solar on, reset the shunt to 0% and then I'm going to see how much power we put in before we hit 100%. Now that's pretty much very similar to the test I did yesterday on that other battery. The only difference is, is I've got two batteries in place, so it's not really accurate because if one battery is better than the other, well, it's going to carry some of that load. So it's not an accurate way of doing it. But I just want to do it this way just to get a bit of an indication for me and to show you where these batteries may be sitting at. So let's start the test. So let's get a bit of load happening here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the hot water service on. So now that is going to draw some power. Let's have a look to see what we're drawing there. See, my hot water service is on a timer and it comes on at around about midday when the sun's at its highest. So when I'm heating that hot water up, majority of the power, if not all of it's, getting fed from the panel into the hot water service and it's not pulling anything off the battery. So I've overridden that for this morning. For this morning. So that is now going to run the hot water service. Let's see how much power we're pulling. Right, so we're now pulling 2,200 watts, nearly 2,300 watts in the cabin. And uh, we've got 47 amps drawing on the batteries. And it's saying it's got three hours to go at that amp. So... What I'm going to do, or 2.8 hours to go, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that going because by the time the power shuts off, the sun should be up and we can get the power back into the batteries and do our second part of the test. A few moments later. Okay, we've just lost power in the cabin now, so the power is shut down. So let's have a look at our final tally. So we've got 15% and the last logged voltage was 47.5 volt when that system shut down. So there's definitely uh, a potential issue with uh, the other two batteries there. So I do need to take that out because we've got, we potentially have 15%, should have 15% more uh, or 15% left in those batteries. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to recalibrate the um, shunt to zero, start the system up, recalibrate the shunt to zero, and we'll see how many uh, percentage we put back into the batteries. Royal puppy, we're in the dark until we get some power into the batteries. However, let's show our subscribers how we can still make a coffee. So while the power's off, I'm just gonna let the batteries top back up again before I turn the inverter on, at least get about 5% in the batteries. But I still have my power station here that has replaced my 24 volt setup. If you've been watching my channel, you'll know what I mean. And so this power station runs the power 
over to this little distribution power block over here while I've been testing the power station. So we still have power, which means I can put this on and get myself a nice hot cup of joe while we wait for the batteries to top up. Six and a half hours later. Right, so we're just going to have a look at the screen here because I think our batteries are just about charged, but we've got some weird stuff happening here. See how it's just reversed and go forward and then it reverses and goes forward. It kind of looks like a back feed. I don't think it is a back feed, but something's weird going there. That's not, that's not right because we don't have the generator running, so we can't be putting any power back in. So, uh, interesting. There we go. This has just stopped charging. There you go. Just as we speak. So we're at 81% and it stopped putting power into the battery. So yeah, we've definitely got a problem there somewhere if the batteries are only giving and taking around about 80% of their charge. Well, that's interesting to see that reversal of current flow for the want for another word right before the battery switched off i've got a lot of mosquitoes in here right before the battery switched off to being fully charged so i wonder if that little like reversal there i wonder if that's causing our uh high dc ripple just that little anomaly or whatever that was that we just saw so we're at 81 percent now and that's all the batteries are going to take so we managed to put 80 percent back in so whether there's an issue in the cells that the uh the, the balancing's out and one of the cells is hitting the fully charged mark tripping everything off i don't know we can only speculate until we get them tested so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take one of these batteries out swap it over with the other and I'm going to start doing discharge tests with these batteries and do do each battery. I'm not going to film that because I've spent the last two or three days setting all these tests up, filming all the tests, then editing it and uploading it to YouTube all in the one day so I can bring you as close to live as possible. And it's taken a phenomenal amount of work to do this. On top of that, I've got to also run the homestead here got the sheep to look at the, the chickens to do veggie gardens to water and all the homestead stuff to do on top of that so i've really been working really hard to get these videos up to you each day and the shorts and the live stream this morning so please give me a thumbs up for the effort because a lot of work's gone in and we'll see you in the next lot of videos that'll be coming out here in the off-grid homestead